Hello there. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my best kept secrets in how to be a successful middle school math teacher, and that is batching your lesson plans. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what is batching, why you should batch your lesson plans, and how to actually do this. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. If you don't know what batching is or you've never heard of it, you are in luck. Here we go. Okay, what is lesson plan batching? Well, to batch anything simply means to spend a little bit of dedicated time to plan out a longer period of time. So for me, I will sit down in one day and plan for the next two weeks. Typically, I like a two week time frame because it's long enough where I don't have to think about it, but also short enough where I can make changes to my schedule because, you know, things always pop up, whether it's an assembly, an earthquake drill, a meeting, something will pop up. So why should you batch your lesson plans? Okay, I'm gonna share a different example with you. If you were to, if you were getting a hankering for chocolate chip cookies, you wouldn't just, you wouldn't pull out your flour, your mixer, all the bowls, your sugar, your chocolate chips. You wouldn't pull out all of your ingredients just to make one cookie, would you? No, because you're gonna eat that cookie and you're gonna probably want some more cookies tomorrow, unless that's just me. But so if you're gonna have spent all the time pulling out your mixer, the chocolate chips, the flour, all the ingredients, you're gonna make a dozen, two dozen, three dozen cookies, right? You're gonna make enough so that you have cookies for more than just one day. And that is batching. You wanna be able to set yourself up for success so that you have a plan for more than just one day. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, I like to break up my batching by grade level. So if you teach multiple grades, this will be perfect for you. If you don't teach multiple grades, then your batching will just be that much faster. So in this example, I'm gonna pretend that I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, all three grade levels, okay? So say we're gonna start off at the beginning of the month. So week one of the month, I'm gonna sit down and plan for the next two weeks of my sixth grade lesson plans. Week two, I'm gonna sit down and batch plan for the next two weeks of my seventh grade lesson plans. Week three, I'm going to sit down and plan for the next two weeks of my eighth grade lesson plans. And then week four, I'm not gonna batch any plans. I'm just gonna simply make adjustments to any of the plans that I've just made. And then the cycle continues. So it gives me a chance to breathe. It gives me a chance to know where I'm going. And it gives me a chance to make any adjustments to my plans if I need to. If you want batching to go even faster, I would love to invite you to come join us inside of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We have everything you need to plan your lessons, simply log in to the membership, and boom, you have everything there for you. We have bell ringer, we have your bell ringers, your PowerPoint notes, your practice problems, your printable and digital activities ready to go. So you simply have to write down which activity you want to use inside of your teacher planner and you're set to go. If you would like to learn more about the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership, click the button right below this video. I hope that you have found this video all about batching super helpful. And if you need any other pieces of support or if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, hit subscribe below so that you never miss another teacher tip. See you soon. Bye.